Hello, true believers. This is Doc Hogg, and welcome to episode 81 of Comics and Variety. Okay, today I'm doing a CNV short, something that I try to keep right around three minutes. Okay, before we get to Hell Arisen, just a couple of uh, housekeeping details. Um, first of all, I just want to remind you that on Thursday I'll be announcing a contest for a free comic book, so come back to my video on Thursday to find out the, uh, the details on how to enter. Next, I want to mention a couple of uh, uh, comic books that are still in demand that I have backed. Um, the first is Sean Davis's Pillow Man and Blanket Boy Maximum Velocity Redux. Guys, ladies, the main hero here has a pillow for a head. What more do you, do you need to know? Uh, the second one is Seven Legions by Michael Beacon. Um, it includes angels and samurais and a lot of cultural appropriation. And that last reason in particular is really all the reason you need for supporting, uh, supporting this comic. Last but not least is a comic book that I reviewed just a few days ago, um, City of Venus, Dead City by Vinnie Tartamella. I gave it a really good review. And you think I would have reminded viewers that uh, City of Venus was uh, still in demand, but me being me, no, I brain farted. So now I'm letting you know that Vinnie Tartamella's City of Venus is still in demand. Um, if you want to know more about it, I'll post a link to my review in the description below, along with the Indiegogo campaigns of all three of these comic books. Okay, put Hell Arisen on your buy list. The writer James Tinian has put together so far a very good story, and the art by Steve Epting is top-notch. The plot basically is that Lex Luthor, with the backing of the goddess Lady Perpetua, wants to reshape the multiverse into something evil, and the Batman who laughs wants to defeat Luthor's plan so that presumably, you know, he can watch the multiverse burn. The Batman Who Laughs has brought the Secret Six with him. Well, at least five of the Secret Six, Commissioner Gordon, seems to be missing. They are, of course, from the recent Batman Superman series written by Joshua Williamson. And this issue ends with Luther being confronted by the Secret Six, and we learn that the next issue will be Luther's last stand. Awesome! What I think I like most about this is the continued use of the villain, the Batman Who Laughs. Um, in my opinion, he's the best new comic book villain created in the last decade or so. Kudos to Scott Schneider and Greg Capullo who created him. Um, I like their original Batman Who Laughs series. I thought it was good, maybe not great, but good. And now some other writers like Joshua Williamson and James Tinian uh, have, have picked him up and are telling some wonderful stories with, uh, with this villain. And, you know, really, what a, what a great villain he is. He is as sinister as the Joker, but also has Batman's uh, analytical mind, which is, you know, unequaled in the DC universe. And just those two, two things to, uh, together make him very hard to defeat. You know, every time you think you've beaten him, um, it's just a respite or maybe a lull before he is on to his next big plan. And often the defeat is just a step in his next plan. Um, indeed, he always seems five steps ahead of those who are trying to stop him. Uh, so just to sum up, there's a lot of mileage to be gotten out of the Batman Who Laughs, and I'm eager to see what the Hell Arisen series does with him next. Okay, I will see you soon.